Hello everyone, welcome to another video. So, I just wanted to say thank you to everyone who helped share our new film, Milk Make Your Own Mind Up. We did a campaign after the film across social media. We released uh, short clips of the film and informational graphics uh, with you know all the facts there. We've also released a facts page and some activism assets to download where you can get them printed out. You can do door drops and posters which have a QR code which leads straight to the film. So you can find that on the website as well. And I just want to say thank you to everyone involved. Thank you to the editors and researchers and for Taz, um, project manager, for helping out with all the website and assets. It was a team effort and it came out really good and um, really powerful film about, you know, what happens in the dairy industry basically. I think the dairy industry get away with the most ridiculous propaganda, you know, like they just pump this humane nonsense in green pastures, but they miss it up very important facts about their own industry because if the public knew, would they really want to buy the product? I don't know, that's why it's called Milk Make Your Own Mind Up. This is all the information that the industry forget to tell people about. Now, what I thought we could do is just read some of the comments that were left under the film on YouTube and there were thousands of comments, but I just chose a few, just people who might be making some changes because of the film. So we've got, man, F this, I'm a go vegan. That's what I like to hear. Well made, going vegan for sure. Honestly, WTF, I'm never drinking that SHIT again. That is some crazy SHIT. I was thinking maybe they should put SHIT on the milk label and, you know, maybe do some real advertising for it. And we have, thank you for opening my eyes. Uh, this says, uh, and then Paint Brushio says, this might change your life for a bit, if not forever. You know, I felt the same way when I first seen what ha was happening in the dairy industry. It really woke me up and I was like, wow, I never looked at milk the same way again, or cheese, you know. And, Luckily, you can get all the plant-based versions as well. So Tara Wright says, This was agonizingly difficult to watch. Me and my parents both cried, but it was a wake-up call. My mum was doubting her veganism as she liked cheese, and my dad was vegetarian. Everything changed tonight. Thank you for putting the spotlight on this murderous and evil industry. Wow, well, luckily your mum can still eat cheese, just the vegan versions. There's plenty of vegan cheeses to choose from, and this is really good to see that your parents have uh, sat through the documentary and with an open mind and are going to make some changes. So Nick says, F me, I'm not a vegan, but I actually want to go vegan. I'm never going to look at cheese or cheese on pizza or on my plate. Uh, again, I'm going to cut out the dairy. Jesus, I'm speechless. Um, wow. Wow. So look, Nick, you can still have cheese on your pizza. Just go for the vegan cheeses and plenty of uh, restaurant chains are using vegan cheese on pizza now. You can get the vegan option and avoid that horrible industry. So let's keep going. We go, thank you, Joey. My mum watched this and she, not an animal lover, but a very kind-hearted person nonetheless, was in tears when she witnessed the truth behind dairy. I was surprised she watched as much as she did because normally she turns away, but this time she didn't. I believe this might have been the final push to go vegan that she needed. Very good. Shout out to your mum, a legend, for sitting through that film. It's quite a heavy film and, you know, it's hard to sit through, but at least she watched it with an open mind and now she's going to make some changes. Hopefully this is great to hear. So Charlene says, this just ruined my love of milk. They do this to satisfy the demand for milk. I need to start drinking almond milk. Exactly, all rice milk, soy milk, uh, oat milk. There's plenty of other different, you know, plant-based milk alternatives that don't involve what happens in the dairy industry. So good to hear. Uh, Danushka says, not a big fan of cows. Nevertheless, it's cruel and just wrong. No more milk products for me. Thank you for making this documentary. So this is good to hear, you know, actually need to be a fan of any other animal to think it's not right or unjust to do this to them for these trivial products. So you don't have to like love pigs for instance to think it's wrong to put them in a gas chamber for bacon. You don't have to think cows are like your favourite animal to not want to see them be mutilated, you know, forcibly violated with an arm in their rectum and then, you know, bulls violated for their semen and, you know, calves being taken away and bolt gunned in their head because they don't produce milk, just horrible things. You don't need to be a fan of cows to think that that's wrong and to boycott it. So really good to hear uh, this comment as well. So let's move along. Uh, we've got Dev, great documentary, Joey. Oh, then they go on to give a bunch of compliments and say salute to your team and, and you guys' efforts. This has changed my mind completely. I was a born vegetarian, but I'm turning vegan soon. Well, you can turn vegan right now by going to challenge22.com and they'll give you all the help you need. 
there's no better time than now. Once you realize you know, what you're doing is causing this type of unjustifiable harm, it's a moral obligation to begin to avoid that ASAP. Um, and they say, keep, keep up the great work. Amazing, thank you so much, Deb, great to hear. Mark says, I've gone from drinking milk almost daily to drinking maybe one liter a year. That'll stop right now. I've gone almost fully veggie. The amount of dairy other than eggs I eat is negligible. The only thing that keeps me from being fully vegan is eggs, but I'm really trying. Hope I can stop in the next few weeks and be fully vegan. This SHRT is wrong. I always knew which is why I went veggie, but I will try to be better, sorry. Now Mark, it takes a lot for someone to, you know, to analyze their lifestyle and go, well wait, this is wrong, and then apologize for it and move forward and do better. That takes a big person to do that, and I'm really glad to hear you will be making changes, and if it's just eggs, not hard to cut those out. And once you know what happens in the egg industry with the male chicks being macerated because they don't produce eggs and all the egg laying hens being exploited and then killed at 18 months old, I mean, it's a no brainer. You can make tofu scramble, you can sign up to challenge22.com, they'll give you all the recipes and help you need as well. We'll leave those links down below, but thank you for this comment, Mark Legend. And this one here is one of my favorite ones. It says, Joey, you've changed my life. I was a vegan, but after watching the milk documentary, my very reluctant vegetarian husband has turned vegan too. Also, my four-year-old is vegan now. I've no words to express my gratitude for your work. You have made a vegan family. <laughs> How cool is that? And then we've got um, Phoenix who says, this made me so ashamed of our human race and, and disrespect of these beautiful, beautiful animals. I agree, sometimes it's hard for me to look at the human ra race with our, you know, proud eyes. Um, luckily, there are a lot of good humans, like you seem to be one of them. I've not eaten red meat for years, but I still ate chicken and milk. I promise I will make my vow to never eat any of these again and will transition more than what I already have. I use chicken and egg whites and Greek yogurt to get my protein because I cannot tolerate beans, pulses or lentils. I was vegan for six years before and now I know I need to go fully free of animal cruelty. You can design a, a diet if you can't tolerate beans, peas and lentils. I mean, I'm not sure which one, if, they're, if it's literally all legumes you have to avoid. That might make it a little bit difficult, but you can still get seitan, which is like wheat meat, and there's other ways of getting protein that don't involve beans. I would actually look at the underlying issue as to why you can't tolerate beans, but um, it seems to you you want to go fully free of animal cruelty. This was so hard to watch, but I'm glad I did because it's now given me that final push to get out of my ignorance. I promise I will let as many people know and encourage transition for a healthier existence. You know what? Um, this is really good to hear because you're not only going to like remove the cruelty from your lifestyle, you're also going to be active. So the first step is to like stop causing this to happen to animals. The next step is to start like actively trying to stop it, like with your voice, educating people, sharing the documentary around is a good way, and just making people aware of this so they too can actively boycott and then maybe they can become active against the, these industries, these horrible industries as well. So this is amazing to hear new activists here potentially. And um, I just want to say to thank you to everyone who is actually a vegan and watched it and actually just started to share it. I can understand the people who couldn't watch it, but like the ones who like shared it, like this is just a form of activism, isn't it? You're going out and you you know that you can't really watch it yourself, but you're sharing it with people who need to see it, the people who are sort of causing these industries to exist, who like might not know, they might not have seen the information. And I mean, this film you could use as a resource for years to come. It's got a lot of good information in there. And we've, like I said, we've got the facts page sorted as well. So I want to say thank you to everyone involved in the film. Um, Great team effort, and thanks to everyone who helped share it. It did really well. It got censored after the first day, but there was a decent push to get it out there into the mainstream in that first day. So, again, thank you to everyone who boycotts the dairy industry and other industries like it and who lives vegan. Thank you to all the activists out there who helped to put an end to this industry. And I'm really grateful that the film has done well, and this won't be the end of what you see from me, obviously. And let's hope that this is one more nail in the coffin to horrible industries like dairy. I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.